It was a return of Adrian Broner against Giovanni Santiago. Let's talk about it. Well, it's been a minute since I've talked to you good people, uh, but uh, I was back watching Adrian Broner's return uh, to the ring against Giovanni Santiago. Adrian Broner wins by unanimous decision. Uh, let's just get right in, into this. Uh, let's talk about some pros and cons. Let me talk about uh, Santiago. Um, after a couple of rounds, uh, he did... Uh, Start. He did start trying to speed it up a little bit, going to Adrian's uh, body. Uh, I do think that he was that he was uh, a lot more active than he than he usually is. Uh, as far as the as far as the cons, I think that uh, he probably should have jumped on Adrian a little more. Adrian is very rusty, and I thought that he should maybe jumped on him a little bit uh, more to to test him, test his chin, test his body, test his stamina. As far as Adrian Broner, I guess the pros would be uh, he still, you know, has that jab uh, and he, uh, you know, he still has, uh, you know, good foot movement, good upper body movement. But let me get to the cons. Same old Adrian Broner, not active enough. One punch at a time. Jab, nothing behind it. He would throw a left uh, hook that looked like it could have hurt Santiago. Nothing behind it. A couple of times he threw a looping overhand uh, right. Nothing behind it. Uh, as far as the fight goes, the fight was not very uh, entertaining. It was not a lot of action. The first six rounds were fill-out rounds, basically. Way too many fill-out rounds for me. Uh, I do know. I get it. I get that Adrian hasn't fought in two years. But has he not been sparring? This last month, month and a half, two months when he knew he was going to fight. Has he not been sparring? Has he not had any action at all to kind of get him loose up, for, loosen up for this fight? Uh, he, uh, I, I guess what I'll say about Adrian Broner is, is that I think that he, at 31, he should be in his prime years athletically. Uh, but the truth is, is that he is uh, he, he looks done to me. Now, maybe it could be me. Maybe it could just be the fact that he hasn't fought in two years and he's very rusty. And maybe he needs two, three more fights for guys at the, I don't know, B minus C level to get in there with to kind of get his, uh, you know, kind of get his rhythm back. But I don't know. I mean, to me, when a guy starts throwing one punch at a time, it usually is a sign that he's about done. Uh, if you look at any fighter in history, especially guys who are used to throwing combinations, when you start seeing one punch at a time, one punch at a time is generally a sign that they're shot and they're finished. But give me your thoughts on it. Do you think Adrian Broner is finished or do you think that he just needs to get in there a, a, a few more times? Uh, they were asking him at the end of the fight about, you know, what does he see in the future? Uh, I what I saw, unless I'm wrong and he it just needs to get some fights and loosen up. I don't see him beating anybody of any real substance from here on out. I could see Adrian Broner uh, floating, you know, through the rest of his career, fighting, you know, C-level fighters and making a decent payday and uh, and doing that. And you know what? It is what it is. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want to do. But I can't see him fighting anybody at the at the top of the chain. Uh, that's pretty much all I have for that fight, for that fight, fight fans. Give me your thoughts on it. Were you entertained? Were you not entertained? Uh, were you disappointed uh, with Adrian Broner's return? Or were you like me, not surprised at all? And you saw the same old Adrian Broner. And look, I like Adrian. I, I always have. But I just felt like he never reached. He had never reached the potential that he could have. And I think he may be past that point. But hey, but you know, let's see if I'm wrong. I would love to be wrong. Let's see him come back. Uh, in three, maybe four months and, and do it again. And let's see if he can, you know, pick it up and be a little more active. Anyway, that's all I have for that. If you haven't, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so we can talk boxing and give me your thoughts in the comment section on what you thought. That's all I got. I'll let y'all later.